Hello everybody, it's Michelle Patterson here with Angel Souls and this is our daily card reading for April 10th, 2021. So what do we have here? We have Citrine bringing the light. This is raising your consciousness, okay? <laughs> Doesn't mean that you can't still be human or have human reactions to things or what have you, but this is what our real soul purpose is, yes? When I have uh, private clients come to me for, uh, I do uh, sort of like a, a digital recording. Well, it's not like a digital recording. I do a digital recording for them. That way they have it. Um, and, there, and there's very specific reasons why I do that. And that is so, as I'm going through the process of bringing up a message for them, that, you know, I can just let it flow and capture all of it as it is happening. And one of the things that always comes up, especially when someone's asking about purpose, is your purpose is to show up and breathe and be human. And now... We just amped up that purpose. There's another door that has opened here. And it's saying, yeah, you know that nebulous thing we were talking about, that consciousness that we think we can't access or we can't embody or we can't even understand it? It's been here all along. And now you just need to bring in the light or you can think of it as turning on the light, <laughs> right? And working your way into understanding it and like I said, embodying it and letting it be, you know, more brought forth. I want to, that's how I want to put it, like kind of letting it be, be brought forth so that it can connect with other people's light. This is that process, yes. So citrine is also a very abundant, prosperous crystal. So we're going to start redefining what prosperity is. I think we're going to be moving into a society where money is not such a big deal. Bah ha 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 ha. What'd you say, Michelle? I said... <laughs> get your pen and paper out. I said we will be coming into an era, oh, it'll take years, where money won't matter so much. And prosperity is more about a feeling and connection. And we value each other more than we value money. We might say, no, we're in that age now. No, we're not. Don't be an enabler. The awakening is about awakening to things that have been playing out right in front of us and seeing where we have been. I want to say conned, but again, that's a very um, human way of putting it. It has kind of a negative connotation around it, but um, it's, it's time to come through the story. That's what it is. We're coming through the story. And so we have to give ourselves room to do that. Now we have aquamarine here. Go with the flow. Aquamarine is also a very angelic crystal. It is very high frequency and it does help bring peace and comfort. And again, the flow. So we're not clamping down on making something happen. Pushing and really striving to make our consciousness expand. The consciousness expands it's already there, but we're just tapping into it. It expands for us. It doesn't expand once we acknowledge it. So that is the process that we're working on here. I do have the little bag here. Cabochon, you're going to be hearing that. <laughs> Let's see. Oh, we got a lot of them. A lot of them, a lot of them, a lot of them. Okay. Boom. So, Zadkiel. Raphael. Mm -hmm. These are the angels. Uriel. Gabriel. Beauty. Yes. Tap into the beauty. Codes. See this? <laughs> there you go. That's bringing in the light. That's the ascension. That's that thing everybody's been talking about for forever. It's not something that you have to like accomplish. You don't accomplish your ascension. You experience it. But and here's abundance here as well. So the abundance is in the light. It's not through material things necessarily. So what is your angelic focus <laughs> for today? Find the beauty in everything. And uh, of course, just to remind you, transmutation, healing, putting it simplistically, passion and wisdom. This is going to activate you. There's some bit of an activation that's happening on a cellular level, on a DNA level. That's going to make it, they keep saying access, that's going to make it so that we can access deeper truths, deeper understandings. And I know a lot of people are probably watching this going, yeah, that's all well and good, but what does that look like in my 
physical world. And what I would say to you is don't be distracted by the physical world. I know we have to pay rent. We have to pay the mortgage. We have to put the kids through school. We have to eat. We have to, <laughs> we have to live. We have to have a budget for some beautiful art or entertainment or something, something creative that opens us up. I totally get that. Okay. But priority number one is bringing in the light, bringing in the light and figuring out how to go with the flow. That's going to open up many, many things for all of us. And it's for the collective good. All right. So we're going to leave it there. I'm sending you all so much love and take care. Bye-bye.